There are quite a few radical aircraft which are pushing the limits of flight. So let's begin the video and look at 7 bold new aircraft designs. At number 7 the Maverick. A while back Airbus revealed a bold new passenger aircraft concept which is based on the flying wing design. But now they are finally using a scale demonstrator to prove the numbers. The model is roughly 2 by 3 meters wide and it will help verify Maverick's aerodynamic abilities such as low speed flying and stall dynamics. Ultimately, if everything goes well, a full commercialized version will be developed. This theoretically can hold up to 400 passengers, but more importantly, it's designed to reduce fuel consumption by up to 20% when compared to a conventional aircraft. Personally, I would find it a little bit weird sitting at an angle to the plane's trajectory, and it's also going to have to solve the problem of parking at airports. At number 6, the Do 4 Demonstrator. I hope my subpar pronunciation was adequate enough for this amazing aircraft. Inspired by the iconic CL-84, this new tilt-wing convertible aircraft has a high degree of maneuverability and efficiency. It has just completed its first phase of testing, which involved over 550 test flights and achieving stability at high Reynolds numbers, which is really hard to do. Now this company has a long history in Swiss commercial helicopter operations and they also plan to build a full-sized VTOL prototype next year. They are also working on an AI-based autopilot which will enable autonomous flight for long durations. So they are a really good company to follow and they should be able to deliver. At number 5, the Carter PAV. Now I did bend the rules a little bit for this one because it's not necessarily brand new, but it's a very unique aircraft which has been flying around for a few years. It's a hybrid gyro aircraft developed by Carter Aviation Technologies, and there were only two built. The PAV2 has put out some crazy numbers, reaching 214 miles per hour at 18,000 feet. The craft is powered by one iconic Lacoming six cylinder engine, which provides over 300 horsepower at 2600 RPM. Now, the story doesn't really end here with this aircraft because the technological rights have been acquired by Joint Mobility and they are currently developing a very large electric VTOL aircraft which will carry 5 passengers. Once again, I know there's a long list to electric VTOLs, but it's going to be a very exciting company to follow. At number 4, the X-57 Maxwell. This experimental aircraft is being developed by NASA, and it will demonstrate technology to reduce fuel, emissions, and noise. The X-57 is an all-electric vertical takeoff and landing craft with 14 motors, but it will only use two for cruising ability. So it has a lot of motors, but oddly enough, the additional motors actually generate greater lift, thus allowing for a smaller wing. But being electric, the demonstrator only has a short range of 100 miles or one hour flight time, which exemplifies the need for better batteries. Regardless, the ultimate goal of the X-57 is to reduce the energy necessary to fly light aircraft at 175 miles per hour. At number 3, the Ava XL, and fortunately, it's not the manipulative robot off of X Machina. This is one of the weirder aircraft, and it also happens to be an all-electric VTOL. So it's a two-passenger vehicle which uses eight motors for vertical takeoff and landing, but these motors can pivot 90 degrees for horizontal flight. Now the craft has been kept secret for some time, and there are some conflicting numbers, but apparently it can go 175 miles per hour and fly over 150 miles, which is not too bad. There are also plans to make a larger version which will have a takeoff weight of 6,000 pounds and carry up to 6 passengers. So it seems like everyone is making an electric VTOL nowadays. At number 2, the H160. A sleek new helicopter was just revealed by Airbus and it's pretty impressive. Weaponized for light attack operations, the H160M can perform missions ranging from air interception to anti-ship warfare. The H-160 also incorporates some bold designs, including electrical landing gear and brakes, which eliminates heavier hydraulic components. It also features a 5-bladed main rotor which reduces the acoustic signature by 50%. It's powered by two powerful turboshaft engines and it can fly at an exceptional 200 miles per hour and reach 19,000 feet. I also recommend to check out the S-97 helicopter being made by Lockheed Martin. Now I did mention this craft before and it's primarily going to be used in reconnaissance and attack missions. Now we get to number 1 and it's the Bell 429 Demonstrator. 
Sometimes you wonder where these ideas come from, but anyways, this is a pretty unique helicopter. This is called an electrically distributed anti-torque system which is composed of four small fans within a tail rotor. Each of the rotors are powered by separate electric motors, with the power being provided through generators driven by the turbine engines. So no battery dependent systems here. The blades are constantly changing in RPM and the performance has been pretty good. So why do all this? Well, basically it's being argued that it's safer since three of the four motors can fail and ultimately it should be a cheaper system for the customer. But I would like to hear from you guys on what you think about this design. Does it make sense or is it overkill? Bell is working on quite a few aircraft and I also recommend to check out the V280. This is also an impressive craft which can carry 14 troops, reach 320 miles per hour at 6,000 feet. It's also under development and it will ultimately be used as a support system for ground forces. So once again, thanks for watching. Please like the video if you enjoyed it and also make sure to subscribe to my channel.